I am back with the latest two releases from the Film Vault line, number five and number six. I'm really excited to get these open and see what we got on the inside here. We'll get started right after this. Welcome back to Pots Movie Dungeon. <laughs> Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to Pops Movie Dungeon. It has been a half minute since I made a video. Um, I'm really excited to be back. I'm going to try to get back in the swing of things, be a little more a little more consistent with these videos. Um, my goal is to put, put out two videos this week. That's the goal I'm set for myself, you know, little baby steps. Kind of get back in the swing of things. Been doing some live streams here and there. I got some stuff playing for some other channels, but I have not been making very many recorded videos. I want to say it's been about two weeks since I made my last recorded video. But I am really excited to be back with you guys to unbox these two really great releases. I've been very excited for, this, for both of these, but really excited for the one to come in. Um, but we're going to get into that in just a minute. But what I'm going to be unboxing today is from a new line called The Film Vault. The Film Vault, when they first came out, they released four titles. And those four titles all came out, I believe, at the same time, or maybe they were staggered, like two weeks apart. And then they just released the latest four. Now, what I'm going to be unboxing for you guys today, whatever, is going to be spine number five and spine number six. Now, I have spine number seven and eight already ordered from Orbit DVD, and um, they're going to be coming in soon, whatever. But today, we're going to be unboxing spine number five and six. But what I wanted to do first is I wanted to go through the first four releases of these and show you guys what the first four releases were. Most of you probably know, but those that don't, I thought it would be a good idea to go through these first four. Now, these are really great releases. These things are not cheap. I want to say these things were going for like $69.99 a piece, $64.99. Somewhere in the 60s is about what you're going to pay for these. And I want to say that these first four are all out of stock. They seem to go out of stock relatively fast. So if you are interested in these, um, at least the ones coming out in the future, you may want to kind of keep an eye on them because some of these do sell out really, really quick. But the very first one they released was Blade Runner. Now, I want to give you a, a size comparison here. I don't actually, actually, I do have a movie right here. So I want to give you a size comparison. And here's the slip for Night of the Demons. Just to give you an idea. So that's what you're looking at. So it is a um, pretty substantial box, pretty good sized box. But I'm not going to go into great detail on these first four. I just want to show you what they released and what they look like. And on the back there, you can see kind of everything that you get with these. And the two I'm going to unbox today will give you a better idea of what's in these. Because I think they're all pretty much the same. Um, this is number number two on the line. Make sure I got that right. Yeah, this is number two on the line, and that's going to be Goodfellas. Fantastic artwork. Now, when they first released these, you see what you get in the back there. When they first released these, I think they come with a poster. Now, unfortunately, I missed out on all the posters on these. And I am actually interested in these posters because these posters are the same size as the posters I have up in my room. Like, on um, the posters from Screen Factory are the wrong size. So I'm not too interested in the Screen Factory posters, but these I definitely am um, interested in, but I always seem to miss out on them. But um, number three on the line is going to be Scarface. And everything you see on the back there. And number four on the line, another great movie, 1917. I've seen this one in theaters short before COVID started. So like I said, really great releases. I'm a big fan of these. Now, the only downside to these is they do take up a lot of space. So be warned, these things are big. But this is what you get. You got four movies there. So that's, like I said, it takes up a lot of space. Luckily, the way my room is set up, I've got a shelf going the length of the room. Probably... 25, 30 feet, something like that. And I got a space in between my posters on the top of the shelf where these display perfectly. So at least for the time being, for the next couple of years, I got plenty of space to um, display these. I got a shelf up there where I could actually store them like this, which is not as ideal because I want to show off the artwork, but I can store these up there and I got plenty of room to store these. And like I said, I kind of kind of plan for these because these are so large that um, once, you, once we have 16, 20 releases, give or take, it's gonna take up a lot of space. But like I said, so far they have put out nothing but just really great movies in this line. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you really quickly what um, number five and number six from the Film Vault line was. Number five is The Shawshank Redemption. You know, one of the greatest movies of all times. Um, like I said, so far everything that they have released has been nothing but just classics. Just absolutely great movies. And of course, this is it right here, guys. Anybody that watches my channel knows that um, this is my favorite movie of all times. And when I seen that the film vault was putting this out with this artwork, I couldn't buy it fast enough. Let's just say that. And that, of course, is Jaws. Look at that artwork, guys. I am really upset. This is the one poster that I really wanted. 
and I missed that on the poster. Um, you had to buy it from the actual Film Vault website, um, and I'll try to link their website down below. Um, but you actually had to buy it from their website, and this poster sold out amazingly fast. So if anybody out there has got one for sale, I'd be willing to buy it from you. Just please let me know. I am going to try to track down that poster at some point. But yeah, I, I cannot wait. I cannot wait to get this in. I'm very excited. Now, um, basically, these are um, overseas releases. These are UK releases. So these two here, I actually got from Amazon UK. Or I, I pre-ordered them from Amazon UK because both of these sold out on the, um, on the Film Vault website really fast. So I went to Amazon UK, I was able to snag these and the next two of the line that's coming out in a couple weeks. Um, but I found out that basically Orbit DVD was carrying was carrying them in stock as well. So keep an eye on Orbit DVD because they do carry these, but they sell out really fast, like I said. Um, the Jaws is the only one that I was unable to get from Orbit DVD. So I had to keep my order with um, Amazon UK. So this one here came from Amazon UK in a fucking bubble miller. Just a big, like fancy, souped up bubble miller. That's it. And I was so afraid this thing was going to be damaged. And the best I can tell, I'll be able to tell more here in just a minute when we get it unboxed. The best I can tell is the, the there's two little um, breaks of the plastic here on the front. But from what I can tell, there's no damage to the artwork or anything like that. Like I said, I'll be able to tell better once we get this thing open here in a bit. Um, but I am very excited to get this open and see what we got on the inside. I can't wait. I actually got these in probably a little over a week ago. But I wanted to wait and do these and, and I'll make a video on it. So I have I have not opened this yet. And that was damn hard to get this in and not open it. I just kind of stuck it in the corner and tried to forget about it until I had time to make this video. So I am going to open these with you guys here today. I'm going to go ahead and flip over to that other camera. We're going to get these things open. I'll show you what we got on the inside here. And like I said, if this is something that you decide that you want, there's two things to remember. These are not cheap, and they sell out really damn fast. Um, so they seem to be releasing like four a year. These first four they released about the same time last year. They announced the next four in the line this year. They seem to be announcing them four at a time. So I would assume sometime probably around um, spring of next year, they will probably announce the next four in this line. Now I do know that, um, and don't quote me on this, but I do know that the Shawshank Redemption, the last time I checked, was still available at Orbit DVD, and the next two, which is 2001 A Space Odyssey and Apollo 13. Also great movies. What I heard. I've never seen 2001 A Space Odyssey. Of course, I love Apollo 13, but everybody says 2001 A Space Odyssey on 4K is fantastic. And I don't own that movie on 4K, so I'm really excited to get that one. But those two, I believe you can, you can get from Orbit DVD right now, and you don't have to get it imported. But that's enough of me rambling on. I'm going to go ahead and go to that other camera, and I'm, we're going to get this thing busted open and see what we got. I'll see you guys in a minute. All right, I am back, and we're going to start off here with the Shawshank Redemption. Hopefully, I got that lighting right where there's not too much of a glare. I think once I take out this, take off this outer plastic, I think the glare won't be quite so bad. So we'll see here. So I got my trusty knife here. We're going to get this thing cut open very carefully. Definitely don't want to damage this thing by no means. And I know there's um there's some that's not a big fan. I know Tony, I know Tony over at Basement Blues was a little um hesitant of these because he don't really like these um the plastic outer sleeves. Because these plastic outer sleeves will, will crack and break on the edges here very easily. And so I do understand that for sure. But I'm going to try to be real careful with these here. And um, they're going to be just sitting on the shelf. Hopefully the wear and tear won't be too bad. But I'm going to go ahead and flip this over here and show you what we got on the back one more time. Hopefully I got that in camera there. And you guys can kind of see what we got on the back there. It says limited edition of 5,000 worldwide. So like these are pretty limited. And they do sell out really quick, like I said. There's a shot of your side there and the other side there. Of course, you see this is the film vault. This is number five. So we'll go ahead and take off this outer sleeve. So that's what you get. The You got the logo on the outer sleeve there. So it don't take away from the artwork, which I really like. We'll get that out of the way there. And here's what you got on the front of the artwork there. Um, yeah, man, it's um, this, this is some next level shit. So you... Yeah, you know, it's, it's, it's approved. It's, it's, it's approved like a son of a bitch. All right, so we're going to go around the artwork here, guys. I'm going to try not to geek out here too much because um, I just love these fucking releases. I really do. I just love these releases. So that's what you got on the side. Your side artwork kind of carries over there. Same as the other side. You got a nice shot of Andy Dufresne there on the back. Tall drink of water. Um, yeah, you got the, the snapper case. It's kind of like if you're, if you're familiar with the um, Vinegar Syndrome BSU cases. You got the nice little snapper case. We're going to open this thing up here. And you got a nice quote from the movie. Remember red, 
Hope is a good thing, maybe the best of things, and no good thing ever dies. Andy Dufresne. And I shot it inside of the prison. Of course, if you've seen the movie, you know there's the, the jewel hammer. Go ahead and get this out here. And this is like a, a sleeve. I think I want to say the art cards are going to be in here. But really high quality. That's got a little bit of, of um, embossing on it. On the back it says, Dear Warden, you were right. Salvation lies within Andy Dufresne. You're like, again, if you've seen the movie, you know how cool that is. So we're going to lay this over to the side for now. We'll get back to that in just a minute. So here's what you got on the inside here. And I know you got to be real careful with this right here. Um, the edge right here, if you're not careful with this little, um, this little crystal piece right here, you can tear the box. I know this from experience. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and try to take this out first. We got a little sleeve here. And we're going to pull that out very carefully. And, and here's what you got. Now this here is like glass. I guess it's just glass. Um, but it says, oh, you gotta look at it on the back side here. It says Tim Robbins and Morgan Freeman, The Shawshank Redemption. This is number 1,764, 5,000. And so like I said, this is like a paperweight, a little desk paperweight. I am never gonna do anything with this, but this thing does look really cool. And this thing has got some super weight to it. Um, it's really high quality. But mine are just gonna stay in the box here. But it's just something for collectors. There's really no need or no purpose for this whatsoever. I'm not going to go and set this on my shelf. I mean, I made for the Jaws. I mean, I may actually set the Jaws here on my desk. But um, yeah, that, that's pretty cool. So we're going to lay that to the side for now. But just be warned, if you do get one of these, be very careful. And it looks like they may have, they may have um, done a better job on the box construction than whenever they released the first four. Because I know with the first four, these were very flimsy. And I got one of mine in, and this was actually like laying underneath the um, the cardboard here where this had kind of broke and it had slid under the cardboard. So it looks like they might have fixed that problem. This is a lot more sturdy, a lot better construction there. So enough about that. All right, so here, you see you got 245, the Shawshank Redemption. Another nice little pull tab. This is going to house the movies. It's going to just slide off like that. And then... Of course, you got the man right there, one of the greatest living actors ever, Morgan Freeman, Andy Dufresne there on the back, Tim Robbins. Great shot of the prison. Folds open like this, and here's what you got. I'm going to try to get all that in the frame so you guys can see it. Of course, you have another quote here. It says, it was like some beautiful bird flapped into our drab little cage and made these walls dis dissolve away. And for, the brief, and for the briefest of moments, every man in Shawshank felt free. So I'm gonna turn this over to the other side so we can get a look at the other side as well. Just one more, one more time across here. Hopefully, I'll let's pick it up pretty decent. I hope. Hard to see my camera. So that's what houses the movies, and of course you got the nice little sleeve here. So get that off to the side, but and that's all you get inside the box. Now we're going to go ahead and get these art cards open and see what they look like. All right. Got a little pull tab here in the back. And we're going to pull out the... And they, they always surprise me and put some nice stuff in these things. Um, just for example, the Scarface one. Um, you actually got the green card for Scarface. Um, for, just like the one in the movie, whatever, which I thought was a nice little touch. I'm a big fan of that movie. thought it was pretty cool. So we'll see what we got here. Looks like we got a couple posters. Of course, these posters here are totally useless. I ain't going to do nothing with these, but great artwork. There's the two, two images there on that poster. And, of course, this one here, this is more like a, you know, kind of like a regular poster feel. And this here is more like a, I don't know, like a heavy stock, like a heavy card stock. And there's the artwork you get from the front of this package here, the artwork for this release. Again, I'm trying to get that framed the best I can. All right, now I am not a big fan of art cards, but we are going to get through these because, I mean, they, they, they do it right here. These, these art cards are, are pretty nice. These look kind of like old-timey photos. All right, so anyway, there's Andy Dufresne. And, of course, on the back, whatever, you get a quote. I guess it comes down to a simple choice. Really get busy living or get busy dying. And you got the man there. Geology is a study of pressure and time. That's all it takes, really, pressure and time. That and a big goddamn poster. <laughs> so like I said, you get some of the famous quotes from the movie. I mean, I, I kind of dig that. Like I said, I'm not an art card fan by no means. 
and I won't ever do anything with these, but a release like this, you want something like this, this kind of quality. So there's the asshole warden. Does a great job being an asshole for sure. And with his famous quote, I believe in two things, discipline and the Bible. He'll you receive both. Put your trust in the Lord, but your ass belongs to me. Welcome to Shawshank. And of course you got Clancy Brown as, as Officer Hadley. Clancy Brown, anything he's in, is he just makes the fucking movie better. I've said that a million times, and I stand by it. I mean, he, Clancy Brown is just a great actor. And any movie he's in, I'm going to watch. Of course, let's see what kind of quote they got for him. If I can hear so much as a mouse fart in here, the rest of the night I swear to God and baby Jesus, or excuse me, I swear to God and Sonny Jesus, you will all visit the infirmary, every last motherfucker in here. Yeah, kind of digging this, guys. Here you got Haywood, played by William Sadler. I know him best as the bad guy's Die Hard Part 2, but he's great in this. I ain't seen such a sorry... <laughs> I ain't seen such a sorry-looking heap of maggot shit in all my life. Yeah. Digging it. All right, you got Tommy here, and I don't know the actor's name. But yeah, everybody knows what happened to him. Hey, come on, old boys. You're moving like molasses, making me look bad. And old Brooks, man. Brooks is one of my favorites. He's a cool old dude. I don't, I don't remember the actor's name for him either. Um, but yeah, so the world went and got itself in a big damn hurry. Yeah, man. What? Uh, this movie's so damn good. Jesus Christ. All right. So there's your art cards. You got your poster. You got your poster. Oh, we got one other thing here, guys. I think I know what this is. And I'm I'm gonna um yeah, this is this is pretty cool. So anybody that has seen the movie, whew, I just got chill bumps. Jesus Christ. I'm such a dork. Or anybody that has seen the movie knows that um Andy Dufresne leaves Red a note before he breaks out. Spoiler alert. So this thing here feels like 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 um old envelope cardstock. It's hard to explain. Very um very textured. So you get this thing, and it's even, look here guys, it's even fucking folded. I mean, it looks like it's been sitting in Red's pocket for fucking two weeks. Oh, all right, so we're gonna get this thing open here. So we have got what looks like the same note that, um, that Andy um, gave Red. I'm just gonna read it out loud because it's too fucking cool not to. Dear Red, if you're reading this, you've gotten out. And if you come this far, maybe you're right to come. A little, maybe you're willing to come a little farther. You remember the name of the town, don't you? I could use a good man. To, I could use a good man to help me get my project on wheels. I'll keep it out for you and the chessboard ready. Remember, Red, hope is a good thing. Maybe the best thing, and no good thing ever does. I will be hoping that this letter finds you and finds you well. Your friend Andy. Now I have to say, guys, um, I've got some pretty cool shit. These some of these um, special collectors edition special releases, but um, very very rarely do I get something that gives me fucking chill bumps. And um, that right there is um, that's a cool touch. That's a cool touch, right? That's worth the price of admission. I'm gonna shut up because before I make an idiot out of myself, but I'm just gonna leave. I'm, the last thing I'm gonna say about it is that that's cool as fuck right there. All right, enough about that. All right, let's move on to Jaws. I can't even imagine what this Jaws set's gonna do to me because I love Shawshank, but Jaws is next fucking level. Fuck. All right, so anyway, we're gonna get all this put, put aside. I'll put everything back together after the video. We're gonna move on to Jaws. Um, this video is gonna be fucking an hour if I don't hurry up. All right. Get all that out of the way for now. Now, here's the big dog. There it is, guys. I have been waiting for, fuck, six months for this. Um, yeah, favorite movie of all times. I've owned this movie in so many different um, so many different releases. But I do have to say this artwork, see new artwork for Jaws in 2023. Um, it just, um, yeah, it makes me happy. It makes me happy. So there's the side. There's the back. I cannot wait to get into all this shit. There it is there. Yeah, I'm, yeah. Y'all seen me make a fool of myself on videos before, but this is the hardest I've ever had to try to contain myself. And I'm probably not doing a very good job of containing myself. And you know what? I don't care. I don't care. This is what it's all about, guys. This is why I collect physical media right here. It's for shit like this. Um, yeah, this is um pretty cool. All right. 
So let's be professional, Alan. So there is the there's the front. Go one more time. I don't know why I just did this, but I, like I said, I ain't gonna make any sense through this whole fucking part here. So y'all just bear with me here. Are right, we gonna get this sleeve off? So you see again, you have the. I love the way they do that. You have all the um the writing and the information about the movie on the outside sleeve. So it does not take anything away from the artwork. That is a really cool touch. All right, there it is, guys. Ooh, loud. Yeah. Um, carries over to the side. There's, there, oh, God damn. There's the back. That's the first time I'm seeing this artwork in person because you know it was covered up by the by the plastic. I have not seen the back of this. Oh, yeah. And the God damn it, there's the damage. I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. Look at that son of a bitch right there. Look at that son of a bitch right there. Uh, I ain't got, I don't care. I ain't gonna let it take it away. I can't get the son of a bitch any other way because it's sold out. So I'm just gonna have to deal with it. It's not bad. It ain't bad. It ain't bad. But um, I will keep my eyes open if I can find another release of this because I want one that's not damaged. Tony, I know you understand, buddy. But like I said, it's not terrible. It ain't terrible, but son of a bitch. Oh, I hate that. Fuck you, Amazon UK. Bunch of bitches. All right, let's get this thing open. I'm not gonna let this ruin my mood. We're gonna move on. All right, again, you get the clamper case or whatever you want to call it, the magnetic case or whatever you want to call it. Oh, 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 motherfucker. All right, you get the, you know what that is. Goddamn, it's a fucking chalkboard, a fucking quint. Yeah, you're going to need a bigger boat. Look, look at that. Just look at that shit right there. Look how fucking cool that looks. All right, let's get this out. Let's get through this. Yeah, that's um, that's embossed right there. Y'all know me. Y'all know I earn a living. I'll catch this bird for you, but it ain't going to be easy. Bad fish. Oh, Lord have mercy. All right, let's go over to the side here. All right. So we'll go through the same process here. Now you can see the son of a bitches. You can see this. Look at this. Look at that shit right there. This son of a bitch is torn on the inside because the way they package this son of a bitch, it came in a fucking bubble miller from the UK. Oh, now I'm mad now. Yeah, I'm mad. Um, I'm going to have to see what I can do about that. That sucks. That sucks. But let's get through it, guys. I will deal with that later. I will definitely going to have to find another release of this, and I'm going to have to try to get my money back from Amazon UK. Hopefully, they're as easy to deal with as Amazon over here is. But that right there is ridiculous. Look at that. Oh, anyway, we're going to get through it, guys. All right, so, again, we got this little um, glass piece here. This is 2,392 of 4,000. Man, my mood just dropped a lot. I'm real mad, real mad. All right, we're gonna pull this thing out here. Let's get this box out of the way. It's gonna be all right. It's gonna be all right. So you got the front there. You know, you can feel a little bit of texture there, but not much, but a really cool little shot there. On the back, of course, you have the nice shot of the Orca um, life preserver. Take out the sleeve. Oh, Jesus Christ, that was badass. Get this sleeve out of the way. Oh, yeah. So there's your artwork you get on the inside. Get this thing turned over. Oh, oh, oh yeah. What a classic fucking shot. All right. Open it up like this. And, of course, you got the, the beach scene. It says, opening the beaches on the 4th of July is like ringing the dinner bell. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take out these discs. I don't think I did this on the other release. We'll get to take these discs out very carefully here. And there's a full shot of what you get on the inside. A crazy beat scene. And then full shot of the back artwork. I I'm getting all that in there. And I don't think I even went over the disc on the other one. Um, but this one here, you do just get a Blu-ray and a 4K. Um... It's also really cool how they did the artwork on this. I'll get these to put back in here. The disc art is really cool. You know, you have the you have pretty much the jaws, you know, logo kind of spread across the two different discs. Done really well. So there's that. And now let's go and get through these art cards. But I'm so fucking mad about that box. All right, so again, I love that they did that, man. You got the kind of the, the chalkboard um, background. You got the whole image there, man. It's um, it's pretty awesome. Let's get into the goodies here and see what we got. 
y'all let me know down below, have you guys ever returned anything from the U.S. to Amazon UK? Um, I feel like getting the, get my money back won't be a problem. I, what I'm worried about is, is I don't think there is anymore. I think these have been sold out for quite a bit. So my only option is probably going to be going to the aftermarket like on eBay, and I can't even fucking imagine what they're going for on there. Oh, look at that poster, man. I'm, I might actually have to frame this, put it on the back of my door here. That's all I got. Like I said, I want the full-size poster of this. If anybody out there has got this for sale, please let me know. Because uh, I definitely want to get a copy of this poster full-size. This is heavy like, heavy like cardboard stock. There's the classic poster there, which I have over there in the corner. But um, I, do, I do need that artwork on my wall. And we have kind of a, I mean, it's just like a, like a cardboard, but it looks kind of like a wooden sign. You got the no swimming hazardous area beach closed by order of Amity PD. And we have got a full size um, image of the billboard. Yeah, pretty badass, pretty badass. And what else do we got here? We got some nice, I don't know what you call these. I guess these are like um, art cards, but these are these are called something, but I don't remember what the hell they are. Y'all let me know down below. Lobby cards, maybe? Are these lobby cards? But on the back of this, I'm not going to read all this shit here or whatever, but on the back here, it just goes through the cast, um, you know, the director, producer, etc. cetera, um, synopsis of the film. Again, really heavy stock, really cool. It's like a shot from like, the making of the movie there. Some information on the back. Another cool image. Some more info back there. And I like that. That's badass. Yeah, that's frameable is what that is. That's frameable. So that may end up in my movie room in a, in a, in a frame somewhere. So here we go. You got that. Nice art cards. And what else do we got here? All right, yeah, we, this, we got um, kind of like what you had in the Shawshank, um, the Shawshank set. Of course, you got the man there, Roy Schneider. Of course, you got his famous lines, smile, you son of a bitch. You got Matt Hooper. Boys, oh boys, I think he's come back for his dune feeding. <laughs> it's just a great dude. It's just such a great fucking movie. And look at this bad motherfucker right here. Yeah, um, that's the man right there. Here's to swimming with bow-legged women. That's the one I would have picked. Oh, man. This, this, how can you not just be fucking tickled pink over this shit? I mean, it's just badass. And, and I've got... I mean, I'm not, I don't, I'm not taking anything away from Shawshank, but God damn it, if one of these had to be damaged, I wish it was Shawshank. Uh, well, you guys let me know. If y'all see anybody that's selling one of these that are not terribly expensive, I will go full price again if I have to. If it's the only way I can get one undamaged. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm, um, I'm pretty, um, disappointed that it came like that. I and mean, I can't believe that something like this, and I know Amazon don't give a fuck, but something like this, whatever, would come in a fucking bubble mill or the way it did. I've seen lesser releases come in much, much better packaging. It just don't make any damn sense. It just don't make any sense. So Tony over at Basement Blues, if you're looking at this, <laughs> give me your thoughts on that. <laughs> I mean, you got a tear there. You got a tear there, tear there. Just all beat the shit. So, anyway, it is what it is. I can't do nothing about it tonight. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna have to start, you know, trying to call some people and do some research. Um, I will keep you guys updated and do the best I can, whatever, to just deal with it until then. And what choice do I got, right? So, but we're gonna um, go ahead and get out of here, guys. I got a lot of, a lot of bitching and pissing and moaning I got to do off camera, where I don't look like too much of an idiot. But that is the Jaws set and the Shawshank Redemption set. But guys, thank y'all so much for watching. I'm sorry for all the complaining and bitching and whatever. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Um, please let me know down below if you guys have picked this up, if you guys have experienced any damage like this the way I did. But thank y'all so much for watching. That's going to do it for this unboxing. Um, two really great releases. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys are going to grab these, if you guys have already picked these up, um, please let me know. Let me know if, if you grabbed any of the other ones, if you're getting all of them, if you're picking and choosing. Um, cause I know these are not for everybody, one for space and two for cause of the cost. Um, I do understand that. Um, but I, I'm kind of, um, I'm kind of invested in these, th in these things now. I'm looking forward to these things coming out. Um, I just said they keep putting out quality movies like this. Um, but I think from here, here forward, I'm going to have to order mine right from Orbit DVD, which is kind of a gamble because like I said, I don't even think they even got the jaw set in. 
So the only way I would have got Jaws was from Amazon UK, so I was kind of screwed over that anyway. But um, just be warned, if you order these from um, Amazon UK, this did come in a bubble mailer. Just keep that in mind. I will see y'all soon in the next video. You guys take care. Thank you.